Representative Rodney Lyons from District 87, and you're tuned into Horizons with Meet the World Image. Now, now New Orleans has a choice. Download the New Orleans Talk Network app for your mobile device, or listen at www.neworleanstalknetwork.com. This program does not reflect the views and opinions of the New Orleans Talk Network. Viewer discretion is advised. 2019 is going to be an exciting time in the city of New Orleans, and we want you to be a part of it. If you have a book, an event, or a business that you would like to promote right here on Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions, contact us at www.mtwimagesolutions.com or info at mtwimagesolutions.com. See you there. waiting for 7 p.m. to come and so if you saw any of those videos you know why I have this man in the studio with me so why don't we go ahead and introduce yourself who are you <laughs> hello thank <laughs> thank you for having me Ron oh thank you for being uh, here I am Brian Holmes um, I'm from New Orleans Louisiana born and raised and uh, I'm a musician now you're not just a musician now I mean, I read your bio. I mean, you're out here writing music. You are playing the guitar. You're writing songs. And you're also a minister and you're um, a teacher, like a, a Bible study teacher or something like that. Yes, I am. At, at wow. my church. I, I attend Bible Way Holiness Church. And uh, that that's actually where I started at musically. And a lot of, you know, a lot of things kind of um, spawned from there. Okay. Um, yeah. So I do, I do do a lot of that uh, as far as work, like in the ministry. Um, I am a Sunday school teacher, and uh, I do a little bit of ministry, <laughs> a little bit of ministering at my church. But uh, I just say I'm, I'm a. I sometimes I like to say I'm a makeshift musician. <laughs> what is uh, a makeshift musician? <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of like a term that I came up with, and I <laughs> I told some of the other uh, the other guys uh, I just. Because, um, you know, a lot of us, I, especially me, I didn't learn music by traditional means, you know, so okay. to speak. So I didn't, I didn't necessarily start out with a teacher and learning how to read music. Uh, Did you just kind of teach yourself or you, kept, you picked up on it? or? Yeah. I, but you know what? Uh, I, I, I thought about that term at one time uh, about uh, teaching myself. Uh, I can't teach myself unless I'm learning something from somebody. You know, right, it just doesn't right. fall out of thin air. So uh, yeah, but but in the I guess in the sense of it all, I am, I did kind of teach myself how to play the guitar, but it was kind of just from picking up uh, a little bit of theory from like the keyboard player, uh, you know, just picking up songs, hearing them in church, and and watching a couple uh, at the time VHSs. I don't want to date myself, but <laughs> they didn't have YouTube when I first started out or anything. You know, I was just about to say that in this day and age people have youtube so you can almost find a youtube video for anything yeah. and just kind of follow along with that and kind of teach yourself that way as well yeah i i, I joke with the guys sometimes and i say if, if i had youtube when i was starting out i would be one of the greats i felt like because <laughs> they got everything i mean youtube has everything anything you want to learn somebody has a tutorial on it right. and you know but uh yeah so so i didn't learn in the like i said in the traditional sense uh uh, it just was kind. It kind of happened, and 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 I never, I never really set out to be a songwriter per se. Um, I just kind of, I really started out playing the drums. I started out at church just playing the drums, little teenage kid, mm -hmm. and um, that's, that's kind of how I got my start with music in general. So you really started um, music when you were a teenager, not so much when you were 
really little, like a little tight. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And, you know, for a couple of years, uh, I, I think that kind of held me back because I felt like I just wasn't good enough mm. as a musician. Because I would hear like artists and different people, they would always say, oh, I started playing guitar when I was five years old. And <laughs> or I started playing the keyboard when I was seven. And, you know, so uh, that, that was kind of intimidating. Yeah, um, I yeah when, when I get around other musicians. But um, the core musicians that I play with, they they real good guys. They kind of they make you feel at home, and you know we just grow. Uh, I grow, you know, just playing with them, and mm -hmm. um, you know, just kind of, you know, just grooving, like we like to do jam out. Well, what got you interested in music? You just said that you didn't pick it up when you were young. Mm -hmm. You just one day decided this is what you wanted to do, or you started playing around with it, and you like, hey, I kind of like this. Mm -hmm. How did this happen? Well, like I said at the very beginning, my my first experience. Uh, you know, like I said, uh, in my household, um, and, and that's why I say not traditional, because a lot of uh, uh, musicians and artists and stuff that I kind of look up, look at their bios and stuff, and they'll say stuff like, I was around all different types of music, and my parents played all different types of music in the house, and that's what kind of got mm -hmm. them started. But for me, it was all church, because that's what my mom was. She right. was all church. So uh, a lot of my music inspiration started from Number one, my mom singing because she sung a lot in church. Uh, okay. She was very inspiring. And, you know, later on, you know, just hearing a couple songs on the radio. Because, like I said, well, when I was growing up, we didn't have, we couldn't just hit up YouTube or stream right, any kind of music. Right. So the most music that I was exposed to was kind of like uh, on the radio songs uh, on 940. You know, yes, and, and, AM 940. Yeah, just different stuff like See, that. You probably remember when WBOK was a gospel station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that kind of comes, it kind of jogs a little bit of a memory. Yes. Yeah. See, I used to love WBOK. As a, I mean, I like it as talk radio too, but when it was the gospel station, that was the gospel station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it was, it was. So um, now you started being interested in music as a teenager, uh -huh. but... You didn't directly stay in music. You kind of went the professional route for a while as well. So you have your own business as well. Yeah, yeah. So when I started out playing the drums, mm -hmm. and I, as a teenager, I loved to play basketball as well. So I kind of stopped playing the drums. It was going to play basketball, and I was missing church. And uh, yeah, missing church to play <laughs> basketball, uh, which is a big no-no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, when I came back to the church, somebody was sitting on the drums, and I was like, hey. He's not getting up, you know. I'm, I'm supposed to play the drums, and I just was very upset. You know, teenage kid got an attitude, and at that point, I was pretty much out of the band. And then um, uh, the uh, the first lady of our church at the time, she just saw me sitting in the back, kind of pouty, and she said, "You know, stop sitting there pouting." And she gives me this old guitar, uh, I think that one of her kids never used. Mm. And, I didn't want it. I was like, I don't want a guitar. I don't want to play the guitar. What is this? And so for about, I was years, about five years, I just had a guitar and I was supposed to be in a band, but I just didn't have any interest in it mm -hmm. or any, any love for it. And after the Lord saved me, you know, as a teenager in my later years at about 17, um, slowly but surely, I just started developing a desire to just play and I wanted to be a part of the church service and a part of what was going on and that's really how it kind of all started. Um, the songwriting part didn't come in until uh, maybe sure, almost 10 years later um, and I like to say it came out of a necessity for me because I lost uh, two of my brothers. Uh, um, I lost my oldest brother um, right around that age of about 17 and about 10 years later I lost my other brother. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, just, you know, violence. And um, so that coupled with a lot of just rough times, um, rough times in life. I had gotten married, you know, in between that time. Yes. But just falling on some rough times, I feel like the Lord gave me the ability to write a song just so I wouldn't go insane. Right, So, right. So one day I just started singing. Honestly, just I never sat down and said, I'm going to write this song. But I just started singing. And I remember one day going to church and I sung a song that I wrote. Yes. Just singing it again, just needing to kind of get it out. And I never forget uh, uh, 
one of the gentlemen, he's a deacon now, he walked up to me after church and he said, who wrote that song? I like that song. Where did you hear that from? And I said, I wrote it. And he was like, no, nah, you didn't write that. And I was like, I did, I wrote it. And so from there, it started kind of sticking out to me that I guess people like the music. Yes. And um, I was just basically floored after that by just all of the other support from other people wanting to sing the songs at yes. church. And, um, and just motivated by my brother and, you know, my, my other musicians that pretty much helped me play. And so that's kind of, you know. So you've been um, kind of living a dual life then where <laughs> you're a musician, but you're also a business person. Yes, yes. So are you trying to push toward um, being full-time mu music yet? I wouldn't say just yet because I, I really am just starting out really to, to get into the uh, musical waters as far as just performing live mm -hmm. a lot uh but when you said dual life i feel like i live a triple life because okay. i'm a father of yes. five I'm, uh yeah You're i'm married five. Oh, yeah. My God. oh i knew you were married i know you have five kids that's it i got five <laughs> I, I call them the fab five that's, okay yeah i got i got an oldest son brian uh daughter megan then Lori, chloe and the last one zane oh yeah so i i, I got triple duty there uh, but yeah, I, I have a business as well. Uh, I've been blessed to have a business um, and been in business for about, whew, it's about 12 years now. Wow, okay, um, congratulations. Yes, yeah, I do security, um, audio, video, all kind of low voltage stuff. Yes. Uh, surveillance and, and things like that. Uh, but the music is definitely uh, my passion and I feel like uh, it's my ministry um to you know to share with people my testimony and yes. also you know just let them know that there is you know jesus is more than just you know a uh, sunday time thing or just something that you hear about is real and Absolutely. i just want to give like my testimony through song and even if i can just talk to somebody and just let them know hey jesus is the answer i mean because um I, I just i know i wouldn't be here right now if it had not been for him if it had not been for the sacrifices my mother made, yes. you know, and her pointing me to him, she, yes. she let me know my whole life, like, you know, Jesus is the way. That's how you're going to make it. So, And you were listening. Even yeah. Even when you didn't think you were listening. By grace, yeah. All right. By grace. So. Well, we're going to take a quick break. Mm -hmm. And when we get back, I'd like to talk a little bit more about um, where you're going with your music. Yes. So, um, you guys, I want you to stay right there. But while you're there, I want you to do like I always ask you to do. I want you to like. I want you to share, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and blow this man up because his music is beautiful. And you're going to know exactly what I mean. And probably in about another 10, 15 minutes, <laughs> we're going to um, we're gonna bring the band up. And he's actually going to perform live. So we want you to hear that. So I don't want you to miss that. So you guys stay right there. Go grab a friend, tag a friend, have them watch this, and you stay right here. That's we'll it. be right back. I'm your girl, Dr. Rhonda Lawson. This is Brian Holmes, right. and we'll be right back. <laughs> Listen up. Your customers, our listeners, could be hearing about your business right now. Yeah, right now. Don't miss out on the opportunity to advertise with NewOrleansTalkNetwork.com. Call our business department today at 504-475-4793 to hear about our great rates. NewOrleansTalkNetwork.com. We provide the people, you provide the business. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Rhonda M. Lawson, and I'm coming back at you with a new year of Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions. And this year, we're moving to Monday night with brand new, exciting guests and engaging literary conversation. And we want our listening audience to be there with us because this is going to be a year you will not forget. Catch us every Monday night, 7 p.m., right here on the New Orleans Talk Network. And you can also reach us on the Meet the World Image Solutions Facebook page, the Meet the World Image Solutions YouTube page, and we're on Podbean, iTunes, and Google Play. So catch us every Monday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. See you there. Listen up. Your customers, our listeners, could be hearing about your business. Right now. 
And we're back. This is your girl, Dr. Rhonda M. Lawson. I am sitting here talking with man of many talents, <laughs> musician, Thank you. Thank you. singer, minister, businessman, <laughs> Brian Holmes. And most of all, father. Don't forget. Oh, Hus I cannot husband forget husband and father. That's the most important. Yeah, yeah. he has like a whole stack of things. I have. Yeah. In fact, I might have to start keeping a list. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah. Okay, so um, we were talking basically about your journey of how you got into music. Yeah. But now, um, music isn't just a hobby for you anymore. No, it's not. It's not. Um, I will say uh, it, it started before uh, 2018, before, you know, last year. Um, you know, for a lot of years, I would just write music and I just did it. It was a, a like I was saying, it's kind of like a coping thing. Is whenever I went through something, I would just write. And sure enough, when I shared it, which the, the, the main place that I shared it was at my church. Mm -hmm. um, but after, place? yeah, but I mean, after so many, having so many encouraging words on, you know, and especially from the musicians that y'all are going to see up here today, they are like tremendous in, uh, in um, motivating me. Um, because it's, it was a lot of times when I didn't feel like the product, or the music in itself was something that needed to be promoted. I just say, oh, this is good enough for the church, you know. Right. Everybody at the church is singing it, and it's good enough for here, and that's fine. And so many times, you know, we might be jamming at church or just something, and they might just say, hey, look, man, what are you doing with your music? Like, when are you going to do something? And I'm you like. See, you were running away from it. <laughs> yeah. You were like, oh, this is good. No, there was a bigger plan for you. Yeah, yeah. And so, and so, as I said, you know, through the years, and we tried multiple times, you had a bunch of roadblocks, as you know. Yes. Anything you dare to do, great. And especially for the Lord, you're going to have resistance. You're going to have of just different roadblocks and different things to try to slow and you you're down. you're going to start to doubt yourself. Exactly. And like yeah. you said earlier, you know, I'm not good enough. There yeah. are people who've been doing this longer. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. this person didn't make it, but makes me think I'm going to make it. Yeah, you know, exactly. all these thoughts go through yeah. your head. But what do you do yeah. when these thoughts come through your head? What What was it that you did to say, okay, I need to keep on going? Uh, I think what really uh, crystallized the, 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 the idea in my head um, uh, is a few things. Uh, I went to uh, songwriters. I went to a songwriters convention oh, nice. um, out in Nashville a couple years and got to be around some other very talented people. And just being around them and seeing their feedback also, just getting outside feedback. Yes. Because the feedback I got from my church and from my, my brother and even from family, it was good. But, but it was always this thing in the back of my head that's saying. That's family. They're supposed yeah, to say that. Yeah, they're supposed to say <laughs> that. That's it. So, you know, getting feedback from those other areas kind of yes. kind of encouraged me. But what really, um, what really crystallized this in my head was when my mom passed, mm. trying to get emotional. Don't get emotional because mm, I'm yeah, getting emotional. Yeah. But when my mom passed in 2018, um, it really kind of crystallized in my mind because she made a lot of sacrifices mm. for me. Yes. Um, and it just really kind of rang in my head, you know, you need to uh, do something um, and not just do something significant, but it was really ringing that I needed to do something you know, purpose wise. Yes. And I, and I, I really asked the Lord this multiple, like, what is my purpose? Like, why am I here? I mean, I had two other brothers, they're gone, you know, um, it's just me and my sister now. Wow. And a lot of times I kind of said like, what am I supposed to be doing? And I, it's a lot, it's so many different situations or, and things I can't really tell you, but it was kind of just shown to me, like, you have a gift, you do have a gift. And yes. this is something that you don't need to just let go to waste. Uh, and I was also told, like I said, my brother and they tell me, everybody can't write music, all right? That's everybody true. Everybody don't just sit down and just <laughs> jot out a song. That's not something you can just say, I'm <laughs> going to go write some music. There's yeah. people who can't even read music. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And so that really kind of dawned on me to to utilize that. And also, like I said, through testimony, the, the point of it all is not just to jam out on music yes. or to hear good music. But the, the message is that Christ is the answer. Yes. And and that's what resonated with me was that, you know, you are a testimony. Your life is. You Absolutely. Know what, I mean? what you're going through now and what you have been through is a testimony. Yes. And so you need to tell that because I'm, I have learned that it doesn't matter if I reach a million people or if I could just reach one person. Yes. And that's kind of what, what motivated me to do it because what held me back a lot, one of the, the little voices was, 
everybody don't want to hear your music. People don't like this kind of music. This is not, you know, mainstream gospel or whatever. But I feel like the Lord told me, you know what? It doesn't matter. But you know what's funny, though, is you say that. Yeah. And I sat here and listened to you guys while you were warming up. Yeah. You are playing the type of music that young people do want to hear. Because my daughter told me, she said, as you know, my daughter, my daughter saved, but she will tell you, I'm tired of hearing that slow, depressing gospel music. People don't want to hear that all the time. I mean, I, so she listens to a lot of gospel rap. She listens to a lot of um, hip hop rap or um, hip hop gospel. I mean, you know, she likes more upbeat music. So I could see her listening to your music because it's not, it's not that. You know, I'm going to, you know, everybody's Come like, I'm on just going to sing. Room. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Come on you know, in the room. Yes, exactly. She doesn't <laughs> want to hear that. Kids don't want to hear that. So right now you are playing what young people want to hear. They yeah. can actually tap their foot. They can bob their head to it. That's what they want. Yeah. I mean, is that what you set out to write? Honestly, it wasn't. And I try to, and I say this a lot of times. I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if it's. Honestly, I, I just don't know, but I can just tell you sincerely that when I sit down to write music, I don't try to encapsulate it in a certain style or beat. It just comes to me that way, and that's how I put it out. Like, yes. so if the, if it comes, it, it hits, and I I don't get a song and say, well, let me, what beat am I gonna put with this? <laughs> right. What style am I gonna put? It's almost like if I get it, that's how it comes, and I just try to catch it how I'm hearing it in my mm -hmm, head. Mm -hmm. I just try to recapture that and relay that you know, to my other musicians or, or if I'm just performing it by myself, I try to just catch what I'm hearing. Yes. Or the feeling of it, you yes. know, the spirit of it, you know, that, that's it. So now you're trying, you're putting together an, um, I'm going to date myself because I'm about to say album. We don't say album. They do. They still say album. Yeah, do we still they say, say album? albums? Yeah, they still okay. say album. <laughs> if, you know, just to keep the know. term. You know, I hear, yeah. I was, one day I was walking down the street going to work and mm -hmm. some guy was, I guess he was, Facebook Live or YouTube mm -hmm. Live, and you know we have a million musicians in this city. Yeah. So he's walking. He's like, "All right, y'all, I'm about to drop that EP." Yeah. And I was like, "What's the EP?" <laughs> <laughs> so I went into my building and I asked the security guards. I was like, "This dude outside just said he's dropping the EP. What's the EP?" Yeah. And he had yeah. to explain to me, and I, right. I'm still not sure I know what an EP yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, that's the thing. The the so they still have albums, okay. but you know your album is gonna be like. A full set of songs, somewhere right. around 10, 9, okay. 10, 11, 12 songs. An EP is going to be maybe three songs, okay. three or four songs. So it's kind of like a short album. Well, what you make? I've, I plan on hopefully by the end of, we're shooting for the end of January to release a single. Okay. A single, and it's called Jesus Shined On Me. And from there, we're going to be working to release at least another single. And hopefully after the two singles, you we can, can do an EP. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We can do an EP. Um, so you're working your way up. Yeah. So that yeah. album, we can expect that album what, by the end of 2020? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's what. I'm, I'm well, speaking it into existence. I, I, the whole album? <laughs> I got the studio on this clapping, so we'll see. EP or album. See, they know. They know. Yeah. <laughs> EP or album. Yeah. No, no, no EP or album. You can have an EP by about mid-2020. And you could be working on, I'm not saying the album has to be out, but the album yeah. can be out. I mean, uh -huh. you could be working on the album by the end of 2020. And then by 2021, we got a whole Brian Holmes album, right? That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll speak it with you. I'll speak it okay, with we, you. Okay, we're speaking but, this into existence, y'all. But just remember, I have I have three jobs now. I'm a yeah, father, that's true. Businessman well, and a businessman. I, I, I gave you a whole <laughs> year and a half. Okay, yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. You did. You did. You did. You did. Yeah, we, we got this. Yeah. We got this. Yeah, but the first, you know, the first thing that we want to try to do or that I want to try to do um, is just start, you know, getting the word out in person. Yes. In person. Uh, my pastor has this saying, uh, well, it's not just a saying, but it's uh, like the scripture. And there's a scripture in the Bible that says, present your body. Yes. And so it's something more authentic and real to actually being there and communicating the spirit of the music there you know Absolutely. so the idea is uh and what i'm what i'm trying to do more now is play live it's something that i didn't do a lot I, again i just played at my church and so mm -hmm. everything was at my church and so now i'm just trying to get out and well i'll tell you you're gonna be word. playing live here tonight and i'm here for it i cannot wait right. but i will tell you though mm -hmm. i was kidding about your timeline mm -hmm. i will say though that whatever you do do it in excellence mm -hmm. because i'm 
as an author, I see people many times who will write books and they want to be able to say they've written five books in a year or something like that. Right. And uh, they've written these books and written these books. And then when you read the books, they're not in excellence. No quality. Right. Yeah. So if it takes you, let's say it takes you a year to get that single the way you want it to be. I'm not, hopefully it doesn't take you a whole year to do that. Not but the single. Yeah, not the single. But what I'm saying is, you know, take the time that you need yeah. for it to be in excellence. Because you can say you have an album in, in two months. Mm -hmm. But if it's not the quality of music, <laughs> yeah, <it's, that's> it. <laughs> nobody's going to buy that nobody's album. So gonna buy it. I that's encourage it. you to keep doing what you're doing and keep moving in excellence. Yes. Because I can already see what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. Yeah. And um, I give you all the encouragement in the world. Thank you. You have a supporter in me. Thank you. And I can't wait to hear your music. Yes, yes, thank you. Yeah, and I can't wait to play it. <laughs> I can't wait to. I can't wait to share my. Uh, again, I. I mean, I can't wait to share my testimony. And it. And it really is because I. I know. You know, just growing up in New Orleans, I know and I see there are a lot of people. They. They heard about Jesus. They heard yes. about the gospel. But it's a different thing if somebody can put it into actual life. Terms right. Right. People need to hear it. And many times, people don't want to sit still and listen to a sermon, but. They may they may sing a song twenty times, and one day the the words in that song yeah. are going to finally minister to them, yeah. and it could change their lives. That's it. That's it. And that's the idea. Is it, another scripture in the Bible? It said, "One plant and one water." So that's all mm -hmm. I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to plant a seed. Yes. Uh, just give a little spurt of encouragement, yes. and then somewhere down the line, if if God can increase that person in some kind of way, if Jesus can, and I, I hope that's that's the case. Just want to help people, inspire them. And I think you're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we're going to take another quick break. Mm -hmm. But when we get back, I think your band is going to be here. Yeah. And then y'all going to start playing. And then people are going to hear all of this that we've been talking about. All right. Yeah. But, it. you know, you know, we're going to have to find out who they are, though, right? Yes. Okay. That's that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Did you come up with your names yet? Uh, I don't know if they want to be called by their stage <laughs> names. I got my own personal <laughs> stage names for them, but... Uh, I'm not going to do that to him right now, probably. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you guys, we are going to be right back. And when we get back, we are going to meet the band. What is the name of the band? The Oh, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> we, right, I never, I we never named back, them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when we come back, we are going to hear Brian Holmes and the Brian Holmes Band. <laughs> okay, she just, started a, <laughs> she just started a new name. <laughs> Too hilarious. Yeah. So um yeah, so the Brian Holmes band is gonna come on. I and I'm I wanna find out how, how you found these guys, how they all decided to be a part of your vision. Yeah. We're gonna find all of that out when we come back. So you guys if you go anywhere, you're going to miss a treat. So don't go to another Facebook page. Don't do anything because we're going to be right back. And we're going to be back so fast. You're not going to have time to go to that other page. So go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Especially share. <laughs> I'm just helping y'all oh, get okay, back. Thank you. Yeah. Especially share because you guys are in for a treat. We'll be right back. All right. <laughs> I was just backing you up. Enough. Your customers, customer, customer, our customer. listeners, could be hearing about your business right now. Yeah, right now. Don't miss out on the opportunity to advertise with NewOrleansTalkNetwork.com. Call our business department today at 504-475-4793 to hear about our great rates. NewOrleansTalkNetwork.com. We provide the people, you provide the business. Y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Rhonda M. Lawson, and I'm coming back at you with the new year of Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions. And this year, we're moving to Monday night with brand new, exciting guests and engaging literary conversation. And we want our listening audience to be there with us because this is going to be a year you will not forget. Catch us every Monday night, 7 p.m., right here on the New Orleans Talk Network. And you can also reach us on the Meet the World Image Solutions Facebook page. The Meet the World Image Solutions YouTube page, and we're on Podbean, iTunes, 
and Google Play. So catch us every Monday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. See you there. Listen up. So, your customers, hey, up? Your girl, listeners? Dr. Rhonda M. Lawson, and I'm coming back at you with the new year of Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions. And this year, we're moving to Monday night with brand new exciting guests and engaging literary conversation. And we want our listening audience to be there with us because this is going to be a year you will not forget. Catch us every Monday night, 7 p.m., right here on the New Orleans Talk Network. And you can also reach us on the Meet the World Image Solutions Facebook page, the Meet the World Image Solutions YouTube page, and we're on Podbean, iTunes, and Google Play. So catch us every Monday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. See you there. The New Orleans Talk Network, now on your mobile device. And we want you to be a part of it. If you have a book, an event, or a business that you would like to promote right here on Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions, contact us at www.mtwimagesolutions.com or info at mtwimagesolutions.com. See you there. In your ear and interactive. It's new, it's innovative, and it's on your mobile device. Android, iPhone, iPad, and on your computer. Take us wherever you go. Because we're interactive. 504 341 Talk. That's 504 341 8255. New year, new show. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Rhonda M. And we are back. And as promised, Brian Holmes and the Brian Holmes Band are about to perform. But before we get started, tell me, how did you bring all these guys together? Uh, that is the beautiful thing about this. And I think uh, it may be, maybe not unique, but what I, I think it is, uh, I didn't really bring them together. Uh, I would say the Lord brought us all together. Uh, actually, all of these gentlemen here, uh, we, we all are kind of pretty close. Um we have uh, Cedric Hawkins right here on the saxophone. Hey, Cedric. My great saxophone <laughs> player here. Um, and we have Edmund Weathersby on the uh, bass guitar. And we have Bobby Weathersby here on the uh, keys. Okay. Relate, relate. Maestro. Yeah, the okay. brothers. Oh, okay. And then we have Caleb Simmons back there on the drums. And so... Uh, we all pretty much play at the same. We, we grew up playing together. These are the musicians that I grew up playing with at my church. Nice. The, the the one guy that kind of he and but he just fell in so naturally uh, is Caleb. Uh, but he's like my cousin in law, I guess you could say. <laughs> it's my wife's cousin. Okay. Uh, but yeah, but Caleb has filled an excellent. He, he just kind of came in. Um, but I do want to give a shout out to Chris Williams because he helped. He really did help. He was our other drummer, but yes. you know he had other work and stuff like that. But um, uh, I appreciate all of these guys because they are doing this just out of pure love. And the reason they all just kind of said, "You need to do this. I'm there. Just tell me when the, when time to it's play. When it's when time you have to practice." Who believe in you and yeah. see your vision, yeah. and they don't mind helping you to reach your vision. Yeah, yeah. You so know, they they pushed me over the hump. I, I've been I've been meaning to um, write a. Um, a post about this, but I was watching the movie. Um, they call me Dolomite. Okay. Um, and and sounds crazy, but I'm gonna bring it all together. <laughs> but in I was watching this movie, mm -hmm. and it was just like you said. Um, Dolomite had this vision. You know, he wanted to be he wanted to be a fa he wanted to be famous. He wanted to be a famous comedian. Mm -hmm. And then he decided, you know what? I'm gonna make a movie. And all his friends were like, all right, well, I'm in. What you need me to do? What you need me to do? Yeah. And his friends knew they weren't going to be getting a whole bunch of money from it. They weren't <laughs> sure where this movie was going to go. Yeah. But they wanted to help their friend to get there. Yeah. And so that's what I'm saying. When people actually see your vision yeah. and they want to come together and help you to um, reach that vision because when you win, everybody wins. Yeah. yeah. Then that's a beautiful thing. It shows that you have people who are really behind you, who really yeah. believe in you. Yeah, that's love. That's real love. Absolutely. That's it. Yeah. Definitely. Well, without further ado, I'm going to get out the way because I'm ready to hear this music. All right. All right, so give me this. <laughs> you go over there. 
All right, y'all. This is Brian Holmes and the Brian Holmes Band. Yes, I'm living in his grace And every day he never fails To show for his faithfulness And there are so many other things He worked that I can't even see Yes, I'm glad, yes, I'm thankful Let it The true and living Savior, and Jesus is his name. Well, he can take a broken heart and mend it back again. You see, I know this for myself, because it's what he did for me. He lifted all of my heavy burdens, and he shined on me, yeah. And Jesus, that light has shined on me. And Jesus, the truth has set me free, yeah. Jesus, that morning star has brought me joy. He will shine forevermore. Once he said, um, when I when I got saved, I didn't stop dancing. I just got a new partner. <laughs> so that's what that's all about. So um, tell me about that song. Uh, yeah, so that song is, oh, sorry. 
That song is it's called Jesus Shined on Me. And that was uh is one of the first songs uh that I kinda wrote. Um and it was really just out of a uh uh elation that I had. Just really uh a a time where uh when the Lord saved me and he helped me through a lot of difficult times. It was at the peak of that joy time, like you know, when you come out of something you come out of the, the, the season and you're like, man, the Lord is good. Like when you're looking around and you're like, you just see the goodness of the Lord. And so that's where that song came from. This Jesus, that light has shined on me. And the truth has set me free. The morning star has brought me joy. And I'm like, he's going to, he always going to shine. So that, that song was, it really was born out of joy. I hope you can feel the joyful, you know, the joyful undertones and overtones of the song. And that's kind of where it came. Now, I do want to um, let you know that uh, my good friend over here, she said, you know, this goes to show you there are men who believe in God. Many times they feel like this is all women in church, that the men aren't, aren't there. But we're showing, we're showing people that, you know, men are praising the Lord just as much as the women are. Uh, men believe in God. There are strong men in, in the church. I mean, um, what do you think about that? I, I really believe that's true. I, uh, I mean, all of these brethren here, I can say unequivocally, uh, the ones that's here, and also to uh, Anthony Doncero, who you don't see, and maybe you will get to see him, but uh, he he was very helpful, of course, in spearheading a lot of this. All of these brethren, I can unequivocally say, have the same faith in, in, in Christ. They have the same fervor. Yeah. It's, it's not just, um, you know, just something that we just talk about and we leave out there. All of them, I can, I can attest to their lives that this is real. And, and what we're singing about, we mean it. It's not just we trying to throw uh, Jesus on top of something, you yeah. know, just to give it a quick title. But that's I think that's the other part of why we work as musicians. We work together is because we believe in the same thing. Well, you're about to play another song. What's this next song you're going to be playing? Uh, this next song that I'm going to be playing is called Boldly Say. And I wrote this song. Um out of uh, a situation where uh, I felt like I was going to go into depression. It was funny because I, 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 I kind of had this, you know, how you go through these uh, uh, different stages in, in your walk with Christ. And for a while, because I had never experienced it, I said, well, how can somebody that knows Christ really get depressed? I mean, come on, this is Christ we're talking about. And I'm like, yeah, but, you know, you live a, yeah. live a little while. It's kind of like what people say. Uh, but this was, uh, it was born out of that, just going through a very, a uh, painful season season in my life and again the lord just helped me sing my way out of it and i just heard a, a, a sermon or a word that my pastor bought and and it was when paul said i will boldly say that the lord is my helper right and so that just kind of rang and rang and rang and then when i was going through this i sat there on the sofa and I'm like, I know I'm not supposed to just be down in the dumps. It's got, I know the Lord is my help. And I, wait, I can boldly say this. And I started singing it. And it lifted oh. me up. It lifted me up. All right. Well, boldly say. That's it. <laughs> All right. When life is interrupted. And things aren't well with me When friendships fail and loved ones leave When loneliness is lurking and depression sets a snare He's my perfect peace, on him I care, it's my care I can boldly say My help is in Jesus' name Sins of lie of sickness and disease. And when the doctor's hands are tied and he's done all he can, I'll stand on the word, I'll hold to his hand.
say My help is in Jesus' name Oh, come what may My help is in Jesus' name And I will boldly say first release well that you know uh, my i have a uh, i have a great uh, i guess you could say song checker and so uh my wife actually michelle uh if she hears it she'll tell me nah you need to that song be i don't know but what would she say about this one this song yes yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. all right all right so, yeah. yeah this song is beautiful yeah. i'm telling you that should be my lead off song right? yes hey. Listen, I, I heard, uh, but I, I heard a, a, a lot of musicians. I would hear them talking. I was just actually talking to another musician about this. They said that your audience or your fan base will actually tell you what music is the right music because you know you get a, I get attached to different songs for other reasons. But they like, no, that's what I want to hear. So <laughs> right thank you for the feedback. Thank you. Yeah, it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I can't believe that this hour is almost up. What in the world goes? Time flies when you're having fun. It really does. It really does. Yeah. But now, um, now I know that you've probably gotten some fans. We have some pretty good viewership going on right now. There's a lot of people watching the show right now. So if somebody wants to reach out to you, maybe they want to hear more of your music. But do you have anything coming up or anywhere where they can maybe download some of your music? What's going on? All right. So unfortunately, <laughs> the music is not ready for download. However. It is coming. I say uh, late January. We already have some stuff recorded. We're just going through the process of mastering and so on uh, to get it out. But um, you can actually go to uh, Brian Holmes Music on Facebook and just like the page. And from there, I will be posting updates uh, on the music being released. And also, you can reach out um, if you have any kind of uh, church event or event period or anything that, that you would like me to come out and fellowship and play live or whatever. Uh, perfectly willing to do that, but uh, it's Brian Holmes Music um, on Facebook. B R I A N H O L M E S Music. You know, you probably shouldn't have told at least me that because people who know me know that I'm always doing an event with live music. So I'm gonna probably be contacting you pretty soon. You know, right, I'm right. just putting it out there. there <laughs> All, right. All right, I put myself out there. So hey, 
Hey, I, I, I accept it. No, you, and you deserve it. You deserve um, every accolade that you are um, entitled to. The, we actually had somebody who, um, tell me who had messaged me and said, I want to play his music. So um, we'll be reaching out to him. He wants you to reach out to him, so I will give you that phone number after the show. But um, there are big things happening. I can already see it. I want to congratulate you and congratulate your band. You, oh, you guys are beautiful. It's awesome, huh? Yes, man, yes. It's the, it's the best kept secrets in New Orleans right here, man. I, I, I stumbled. Man, hey. He didn't stumble? That's it. I said, yeah. I said, all of my steps there, so I appreciate absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, there you have it, y'all. This was Brian Holmes and the Brian Holmes Band. I don't know if this is going to be their name from now on. I'm... <laughs> I'm hoping next time I run into y'all, <laughs> we will have a name for the band. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't mean. <laughs> I didn't mean to say I have. <laughs> oh man, well yeah, uh, I, I didn't mean to say I haven't named them yet, but uh, yeah, it's my brother, and so yeah, we we we'll have something. We'll have something. Okay, as long as you have something, you that know. Was one question I wasn't ready for. You, you saw you caught me. I was like, oh, oh man. So, but that's okay, you know. But you filled in the blank. Yeah, well. I got. I, that's what I do. All know. right. <laughs> so I want to thank you and thank um, the entire band for being on the show. I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. I hope you all had a great time. And don't forget, you know, Meet the World Image Solutions has a lot of events coming up. We have the Black History Month Literary Weekend, February 28th and 29th. We are in the process of announcing the cast to Twilight the Stage Play. If you go to Twilight the Stage Play on Facebook, you can start seeing some of that cast. You're gonna see some new faces. You're gonna see some familiar faces. But I'm gonna tell you this cast is powerful. And then we also have the um, Ivory and Cream Jazz Brunch coming up um, also on the 29th of February. And um, I, you know, I, I wish I could get you in there. <laughs> I want to get you in there. <laughs> we already have a band for that one, though, but we, I think I can get you in the play. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get you in the play. <laughs> yeah. But um, Straight Notes will be performing for um, the brunch, and I'm telling you, they are awesome. Beautiful band. I love them. And then on February 28th, mark your calend calendars, we have a free writer's workshop, absolutely free, and it's going to be featuring – None other than New Orleans' own best-selling author, Brian W. Smith, who will, who will teach a very special writing class before we go into the question and answer period. So you do not want to miss that. And then we are also still offering um, the specials. If you need publicity, if you need exposure for your book, your business, your music, <laughs> then um, we have our end of year specials all the way up until December 20th, which is only about another week. Get 50% off on these specials. I mean, we're talking editing. We're talking about one sheets, media kits. Um, these are things that cost a pretty good amount of money, but we're doing it 50% off because we want to be able to help you get your fourth quarter goals. And then we also have the partnership that we're doing with um, Swagger Magazine. For only $60, you will get exposure on this show. You will also get a social media push, a email push, and you will get a website, um, a website feature on the Swagger Magazine website. So that's only for $60. So we have a lot going on, and we really want you to be a part of it. But in the last few minutes of this show, I'm going to get out the way because we want to hear Brian one more time take us out. <laughs> Yeah, you got one more, right? Yes, I do. I figured you did. Something a little fun for y'all. <laughs> okay, fun. So we got something fun to take us out. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We are planning on doing a music showcase like this each month. And so we want you guys to join us. You can either join us online or you can join us here in the studio. But we want to be able to highlight the many talented musicians who are in this city. And I hope that Brian will come back and visit us one day. I definitely will. I appreciate this visit. Oh, thank you so much. All right, that's all we have. Brian, take us out. Take us out. All right. This song is called Living Water. Y'all ready, fellas? There I was with my empty cup, thirsting so long and about to give up. Then I met a man, Jesus is his name. He said, I got some water where you never thirst again. I took a little sip and that was all I need. Now, well, it's springing up in me. 
Cause I got the water that gives me a life Heavenly flow that's so divine I got Jesus and he's mine all mine He gave me living water I got the water that gives me a life Heavenly flow that's so divine I got Jesus and he's mine all mine He gave me living water Now my cup is spilling over Now in my soul there's peace like a river Now I can tell everyone I know Jesus is the source, you don't have to thirst no more I've been redeemed and I'm gonna say so I'll shout it out from the depths of my soul Cause I got the water that gives me a light Heavenly flow that so divine I got Jesus and he's mine all mine He gave me living water yeah. I got the water that gives me a life Heavenly flow that's so divine I got Jesus and he's mine all mine He gave me living water Living water, I know it works It heals all my wounds and takes away the hurt Living water, baptize me Wash my eyes and let me see I said living water, ever flow Right from the throne into my soul I said living water, it give me joy And make me wanna shout and praise my Lord I said living water, living water Living water, living water Live in water, live in water, live in water. Take it away! Thank you. 